Hello everyone, welcome back to Vidya TV. In this particular video, let us discuss some MCQs related to strength of materials. Very, very important bits. Right. First question. Young's modulus is defined as the ratio of Young's modulus is defined as the ratio of longitudinal stress and longitudinal strain. It is the ratio of longitudinal stress and longitudinal strain. Next question. The law which states that within elastic limits strain produced is proportional to the stress producing it is known as it is nothing but within the elastic limit stress is directly proportional to strain that is nothing but it is according to Hooke's law according to Hooke's law stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit next question for an isotropic homogeneous and elastic material obeying Obeying Hooke's law, the number of independent elastic constants, number of independent elastic constants and the answer is 3. There are 3 elastic constants, Young's modulus, bulk modulus and shear modulus. Young's modulus, bulk modulus and shear modulus. These are the 3 elastic constants. Next one, limit of proportionality depends upon, limit of proportionality depends upon the area of cross section. It totally depends upon the area of cross section. Next question, in a bar of sections of two different length and different diameters are in a line and P is the load acting axially on them. What will be the change of the length of the bar? What will be the change of the length of the bar? So it is nothing but change in length. It is asking us the formula for change in length. And uh, two different lengths are to note. Okay. Two different lengths. What is the change in length? That is nothing but DL is given by PL by AE. DL is nothing but equals to PL by AE. So, according to the given options, our answer is option C. P by E into L1 by A1 plus L2 by A2. Right. That is option C is the right answer. Next one. In thin cylinders, the thickness should be dash times of internal diameters. In thin cylinders, the thickness should be 1 by 28 times of internal diameter. That is option A is the right answer. 1 by 20. Next one. The neutral axis of the cross section a beam is that axis at which the bending stress is 0. That is option A is the right answer. The bending stress is zero that is option a is the right answer next one a steel bar of 5 mm is heated from 15 degrees to 40 degrees and it is free to expand the bar will induce no stresses shear stresses tensile stresses compressive stresses now if you look at the question the bar is free to expand when the bar is free to expand there are no stresses developed in the bar that means it is stress free that is option a is the right answer next question the deformation per unit length is called the deformation per unit length is nothing but strain it is called as strain option d next one in a section shear center is a point through which if the resultant load passes the section will not be subjected to in a section shear center is a point through which if the resultant load passes the section will not be subjected to what right it won't be subjected to torsion it doesn't 
undergo torsion that is option a is the right answer next one the shape of the bending moment diagram over the length of the beam carrying a uniformly distributed load is always the shape of the bending moment diagram over a length of beam carrying uniformly distributed load that is that is nothing but it is always linear the curve is always linear next one for a simply supported beam with a central load the bending moment is maximum at the center the bending moment is maximum at the center for simply supported beam with a central load it is maximum at the center next one a mild steel wire 5 mm in diameter and uh, 1 meter long if the wire is subjected to an axial tensile load of 10 what will be its extension right it is nothing but dl equals to pl by ae this is the formula we are supposed to apply so load is given length is given diameter is also given area can be calculated by using the formula pi by 4 d square so on substitution i think we'll get the answer b option b 3.15 just check it up 3.15 the point through which the whole weight of the body acts is called as what the point through which the whole weight of the body acts is called as center of gravity that is option b is the right answer next one where will be the center of gravity of the uniform rod lies where will be the center of gravity of a uniform rod lies at its middle point okay option b at its middle point it uh, it lies at the middle point next one what is the moment of inertia of a circular section moment of inertia of a circular section is pi d power 4 by 64 pi d power 4 by 64 that is option a is the right answer option a is the right answer next question what is the moment of inertia of a triangular section about the base what is the moment of inertia of a triangular section about the base it is nothing but bh cube by 12 b represents breadth and h is height so our answer is option b bh cube by 12 next one if the thickness of plate is negligible when compared to the diameter of the cylinder cylindrical section then it is called as what if the thickness of the plate is negligible means it is thin cylinder if the thickness of the plate is negligible in comparison with the diameter of the cylinder it is nothing but thin cylinder next one the materials having same elastic properties in all directions are called as materials having same elastic properties in all direction they are called as isotropic materials they are called as isometric isotropic materials next question the ultimate tensile stress of mild steel compared to ultimate compressive stress okay is it same more less or more or less depending upon the factors the ultimate tensile stress of mild steel compared to ultimate compressive stress it is more definitely ultimate tensile stress is more in compress in comparison with the compressive stress that is option b is the right answer next question in a tensile test on a mild steel specimen the breaking stress as compared to ultimate stress is always less the breaking stress is always less than the ultimate tensile stress that is option b is the right answer which of the following materials is more elastic which of the following materials is most elast elastic that is nothing but it is steel option d it is steel option d is the right answer because it is a ductile material next one the values of poisson's ratio for cast iron po values of poisson's ratio for cast iron is uh, it lies between 0.23 to 0.27 that is option b 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पॉइजन रेशियो इज डिफाइंड एज रेशियो ऑफ वॉट इट इज डिफाइंड एज लैटरल स्ट्रेन एंड लॉन्ग ट्यूडनल स्ट्रेन रेशियो बिटवीन लैटरल स्ट्रेन एंड लॉन्ग ट्यूडनल लैटरल स्ट्रेस एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेस इट इज डिफाइंड एज लैटरल स्ट्रेस एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडनल रेशियो बिटवीन लैटरल स्ट्रेस एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेस नेक्स्ट वन द परसेंटेज रिडक्शन इन एरिया ऑफ अ कैस्ट आयरन स्पेसिमेंट ड्यूरिंग टेंजाइल टेस्ट वुड बी ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ वॉट परसेंटेज रिडक्शन इन एरिया ऑफ अ कैस्ट आयरन स्पेसिमेंट ड्यूरिंग टेंजाइल टेस्ट सो कैस्ट आयरन इज अ ब्रिटिल मेटीरियल सो देर फोर इट डजेंट शो एनी काइंड ऑफ एलॉन्गेशन देर फोर द रिडक्शन इन एरिया इट इज ऑलमोस्ट नेग्लिजिबल दट इज ऑप्शन ये इज द राइट आंसर इट इज नेग्लिजिबल फॉर कैस्ट आयरन नेक्स्ट वन इफ अ मेटीरियल एक्सपैंड फ्रीली ड्यू टू हीटिंग इट विल डेवलप वॉट इफ अ मेटीरियल एक्सपैंड फ्रीली due due to heating it will develop what does it develop thermal stresses tensile or bending stresses or no stresses definitely as it is free to expand therefore there won't be any kind of stresses induced in the material that is option d is the right answer option d next one flow stress corresponds to what flow stress corresponds to plastic deformation of solids flow stress corresponds to plastic deformation of solids that is option c is the right answer next one a material capable of absorbing large amount of energy before fracture is called as what a material capable of absorbing large amount of energy before fracture it is nothing but toughness it is the mechanical property of the material it is toughness ability of a material of absorbing large amount of energy before fracture it is toughness right next question the compression test is carried on dash materials the compression test is carried on brittle materials it is carried on brittle brittle materials next question the property of a material material by virtue of which it can be beaten or rolled into plates is called as what the property of material by virtue of which it can be beaten or rolled into plates is nothing but it is malleability it is due to the prop mechanical property malleability the material can be formed into sheets or plates next question hooke's law holds good up to hooke's law holds good up to elastic limit it holds good up to elastic limit right so these are the various very important questions related to strength of materials very much useful for all the competitive exams so that's all for this video thank you